welcome to virtual science teacher today's topic is to derive some mathematical calculus in analogous to classical mechanics so according to classical mechanics or according to the newton's second law what we can say that force f equals to m into a where n is the mass of the particle and a is the acceleration of the particle that means by using this equation we have already solved a lot of problems in classical mechanics and in this classical mechanics we have considered that the part and that mm, the body is a particle and uh, we can solve by this by this famous uh, equation of newton's second law so what happens for quantum mechanics actually quantum mechanics in quantum mechanics uh, there is no concept of particle there is wave only so there is an wave function we have already deal with and uh, what happens we have change if we have changed the time then the wave function also change and as a result the different physical parameters also change so so analogous to the newton's second law in classical mechanics in we can write in quantum mechanics a famous equation known as schrodinger equation so let's see what happens for schrodinger equation actually we have already deal with that a psi equals to lambda psi that means if a is a operator operating on an wave function and provides an eigen value remaining the wave function same this is we have already known and hamiltonian of a system can be written as again from the operator method we can write that momentum p equals to minus i h cut del del x this is for one dimensional case along x axis okay and for um, multi dimensional case this will be grad where i is the root of square root of minus 1 so p square gives us minus h cut square by 2 m del 2 del x square now we know that if uh, hamiltonian operates on an wave 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 function or wave vector this will gives us energy okay that means energy is the eigen value of hamiltonian this is important to derive energy for defined case that is energy is eigen value of hamiltonian so let's check i am now putting the value of hamiltonian in operator form that means minus h squared square by 2m del 2 del x square this is for kinetic energy term potential energy term remains unchanged into psi gives us e psi that means minus h squared square by 2m del 2 psi del x square plus vx psi equals to e psi this equation is known as schrodinger equation very important in quantum mechanics okay but in this equation there is no concept of time let's but actually actually what have energy is an operator and this can be written as i is equal to del t in this case there is an uh, case of time that means uh, if if we have to deal energy we have to deal with time also so replacing e by this equation we can also write minus a squared square by 2m del 2 psi del x square plus vx psi equals to i h squared del psi del t this is another form of schrodinger equation another form of schrodinger equation provided that psi is a function of x and t also because if psi is a function of x only that is independent of time then del psi del t will goes to zero that is only left part contains now our job is to find how time is related with wave function that means the mathematical relation for it i am writing down first the hamilton Mm, the Schrodinger equation of the system. 
so this is minus a squared square by 2 m equals to i a squared I am writing the time dependent for the equation here and psi this is a function of psi x and t and this can be written as psi x and t t that means psi x is a function of x only and capital T is a function of small t only ok so now I want I want to use the variational principle method now I am putting the value of psi that is chi multiplied by t in the Schrodinger equation and check what happens as chi is function of x only when I wa uh, will derive with, uh, derivative with respect to t t will comes uh, x will be comes out and t we have to work on the derivative with respect to cap, uh, small t and so on so I am writing total derivative instead of partial derivative because x chi is a function of only x and capital D is a function of small t only that is phi del chi del x equals to d chi dx and del t del t equals dt dt ok now I am dividing this equation by psi that means chi multiplied by t this will gives us minus h square square by 2m 1 by chi as chi is a function of x i am writing here only chi instead of chi of x okay for my simplicity here I have written only capital T instead of T as a function of small d because capital T is a only function of small t ok and so this equation shows that left side of this equation is something which is dependent only on x and right side depends only on t so this can be written as small k k is a constant independent of and x also so equating this I can write that this equation is time independent Schrodinger equation and the second equation gives us 1 by t dt d small t equals to minus i by h cut k this will gives us t capital t equals to something constant e to the power minus i by h cut k into t just i am solving this equation this is nothing but dt by t equals to minus i by h cut k dt and if you integrate this this equation this will gives us this e this equation ok so finally what happens psi that is a function of x and t can be written as psi x only this comes this psi x comes out from this equation because here uh, in this equation only x is available multiplied by t and t equals to t is proportional to e to the power minus uh, this term because is, a is a constant and this constant includes in this equation in this psi x so this can be written as e to the power minus i by h cut k t and actually k is nothing but the energy total energy of the system 
that means if there are n state then this is ent okay so this is the time dependent wave function which depends on time at and this is the uh, wave function at t equal t greater than 0 this equation is valid for t greater than 0 okay that means if we have a wave function at t equals to 0 that is psi x and we know the energy of the state then we can easily find out um, the wave function at at a time greater than t equals to 0 coming to the continuity equation this is also an important equation in quantum mechanics and for the derivation of continuity equation i would like to start with schrodinger equation first that is time dependent schrodinger equation minus h squared square by 2 m into psi del x square plus v psi equals to i h cut del psi del t okay this is our equation one now i can take its complex conjugate this will give us minus h cut square by 2 m del to size i do not know whether the uh, wave function psi is real or imaginary that is why i am writing the uh, psi star instead of psi psi star is the complex conjugate of psi this will give us minus i is cut del psi star del t because complex conjugate of i is minus i this is equation 2 okay now I am left um, multiplying left, left side by psi star of equation 1 that means minus h cut square by 2 m psi star del 2 psi del x square plus v x is a constant psi star psi equals to i h cut psi star del psi del d because I can write psi star del psi del t equals to del psi del t psi star this is equation 3 upgraded version of equation 1 and I am now right multiplying psi of equation 2 that means minus h cut square by 2 m del 2 psi star del x square psi plus v x psi star psi equals to minus i h cut del psi star del t psi just write by multiplying by psi in equation 2 this is this is four upgraded version of two so now i am subtracting this that means subtracting three from four sorry subtracting four from three this will gives us minus h cut square by two m psi star del this is not just mathematical calculation nothing this vx term will be cancelled out and this will go gives us psi star del psi del t plus del psi star del t psi so now i can write this as del del x of psi star del psi del x minus 
del psi star del x psi because the cross term will be cancelled out and this will give us okay so from this equation we can write that del j del x del j subscript of x plus del rho del d equals to 0 where j x equals to i a squared by 2 m and rho equals to psi we have already learned that del j x del a plus del rho del t equals to 0 where j x equals to i h cut by 2 m psi and rho is the psi, psi star here psi is the function of x only that means we have considered only one dimensional case for three dimensional case that is if psi is a function of x y and z and then we can write that divergence of j plus del rho del t equals, equals to 0 where j equals to i h cut by 2 m psi gradient psi star x minus psi star gradient psi and rho equals to psi psi star here psi is a function of r that is x y z r that means psi is a function of x y z this equation is known as continuity equation this is famous continuity equation in quantum mechanics now let's check what is what that means what is j j is called the current density current density and rho is known as probability density probability that means if we have a wave function psi after multiplying its complex conjugate that is psi star will give us probability density and once we can find the probability density we can easily find the total probability of the system by doing integration and j is the current density divergence of j plus del rho d and del t this equa equals to 0 this is continuity equation please subscribe our channel for further updates and for further any query please mail us at varsiteach at gmail.com thank you